Good afternoon to you all, dear students. So today, we will start with the new topic under Block 21. So the topic of our discussion for today is Earth, a unique planet. So this is our topic of discussion for today. So let's get started. Alright, so our aim for today is students will be able to analyze the life supporting features of the Earth. And the resources required is your notebook and your exit content book. And the keywords for today is unique. Alright, so this is the keywords that we will use today, unique. So what is actually unique? I'm sure you all know what is unique. Okay, that is being different or being the only one of its kind. Unequal and unmatched. They are known as unique. Alright. Alright, let us recollect, okay, what we have learned so far. So, the blog has already covered the features of the celestial bodies, alright. And you have also learned about the different celestial bodies that is found in our solar system. And the classification of eight planets, that is, four in inner planet and four outer planets, alright. And also the main features of each planet okay so okay uh, there are certain things that you may find difficult to understand okay so let us uh, all right let us learn today all right uh, let us learn today from our class that what are some of the things that the new things that we will learn okay that is true earth being a unit planet all right so what did we learn about the features of the of the various celestial bodies and what are some questions that you still have about why life is not possible on other planets and i'm sure we all have the thoughts okay that why life is not possible on other planets beside earth all right so you please listen carefully okay as i explained to you see uh, life is not possible okay on any of the inner planets that is except the earth the reason is because those planets uh, because they don't have a suitable temperature all right and also the gases necessary to sustain life are missing on those uh, planet okay besides earth so life is not also possible on the outer planets why because they are mainly made up of hydrogen and helium gases All right this means that there is no oxygen to breathe and no carbon dioxide to carry out photosynthesis all right and i'm sure that you have even learned in your uh, science class okay so there is no water on the outer planets which is needed for existence of life so our outer planet being very far away from the sun they experience extremely low temperatures making the existence of life impossible all right because if it's too cold we cannot sustain all right life cannot sustain okay now uh, I want all of you to read okay earth a unique planet from your textbook all right so i'm not going to read for you okay so since you have your own textbook i want all of you to read okay you can turn to page number five page number five okay and read the section earth as a unit planet why earth is called a unit planet there are mainly three points given okay because of suitable temperature because of breathable atmosphere because of availability of water so one after the other you please read okay suitable temperature and then breathable atmosphere and availability of water so those three points you please uh, read it carefully so based on your reading I'm gonna ask you a question okay what are the three factors that make existence of life possible on earth
So what are the three factors that make existence of life possible on Earth? Very simple again. Okay? That is answer I've already given you. See, the three factors are one suitable temperature two breathable atmosphere and three availability of water so these three factors make life possible on earth all right so what would happen to temperature on earth if it were slightly closer or slightly farther away from the sun what do you think will happen to earth suppose this is sun right and this is earth okay what would you uh what would happen to temperature on earth if it is slightly closer to sun and slightly far away from the sun not on the exact position what if the earth is located here and what if the earth is located here what will happen to the temperature on earth all right we may experience different thing okay uh, similarly see if the earth were slightly closer to the sun the temperatures on the earth will be much higher and it will be very humid very hot okay we say this is this as venice which is the second planet from the sun okay experiencing an average temperature of 480 degrees celsius remember we face 40 degree 35 degree 32 degrees that right the maximum temperature remember uh, okay imagine okay the venice it experienced 480 degrees celsius all right so as an increase of just a few degree in temperatures on the earth in summer makes us very uncomfortable and we have to change the kind of clothes we wear and the kind of food that we eat so a greater increase in temperature will obviously affect life on the earth to a much greater extent and if the earth were slightly farther away from the sun then also the average temperature will be much lower we can say this as mars which is the fourth planet from the sun experience a temperature range of 20 degrees celsius to minus 150 degrees celsius so that it that is extremely cold cold okay so a dip in temperature in the winters affects our lifestyle greatly why because a greater dip in temperature will affect life on earth to a greater extent too so the earth experiences an average temperature of 22 degrees celsius which is in the right state all right that is not very cold and not very hot all right another question what would happen if the earth atmosphere were mainly made up of carbon dioxide like the other inner planets suppose we have our planet earth is mainly made up of carbon dioxide okay and not with oxygen so what will what, uh, like the other planet what will happen to the earth atmosphere all right so you listen carefully okay so if the earth atmosphere is mainly made up of nitrogen and oxygen see uh, we know that the earth atmosphere is mainly made of nitrogen and oxygen okay so oxygen it is very much needed by all living beings that is humans land and water animals and even plants to survive all right so just a slight decrease in the level of oxygen as mountainer as they climb higher altitude it makes them very difficult to breathe all right make it it necessary for them to carry oxygen cylinder with them if they are climbing to a higher altitude all right therefore if the earth atmosphere were mainly made up of carbon dioxide 
life will not be possible on earth at all so you see that as the mountain as the altitude goes higher and higher we receive less oxygen okay so for that purpose those mountain climbers they used to carry oxygen cylinder okay with them all right so what would happen if there was no water on earth imagine if there is no water on earth okay what will happen to us and what will happen to the plants and the animal very simple for that see we know that all living things we need water to survive all right and also the plants they produce food with the help of sunlight carbon dioxide and water all right and if there was no water on earth then obviously we know that life will not be possible on earth all right because of that water is one of the most essential necessities to survive okay and to sustain life so see earth is a unique planet because the combination of the following factors make life possible because of its suitable temperature its breathable atmosphere and the availability of water all right that makes earth a unique planet as compared to the other planet in the solar system now for you your you have to do your practice question number 10 and you have to complete my uh, my learning chart okay that is in your exit content book so this is the one okay earth a unit planet question number 10 practice question number 10 and then my learning chart all right as given here my learning chart so write the name of each of planet along with the one one interesting features suppose mercury one has been done for you okay mercury features is the smallest planet similarly uh okay i'll just give you one mercury venus so what is the features of venus you write here and then the other planet as well okay so that's it have a nice day and take care